Front flip off the jump. Switch one. Oh, what? Wow, I just opened new tabs. I clapped so hard there. That was insane. Well, all right, baby, it's that, it's that time. I got my frozen mug, and as you guys all know, as you guys should have known by now, X Games, Ski, Knuckle Hawk, Snowboard Knuckle Hawk, X Games, Aspen as a total, it's come to a conclusion. It's a super sick, uh, super sick gear for X Games, Aspen. A little weird, because COVID. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say a big shout out to all the athletes, because everybody absolutely murdered it. I'm gonna make three videos from this X Games, one covering Knuckle Hawk, one covering Big Air, oops, and, uh, one covering, uh, one covering Slipstyle. All three of the events minus Superpipe. Every time I watch X Games, Superpipe, I realize, I, I always forget how gnarly Superpipe is. Back-to-back -back 16s by Nico was absolutely insane. I honestly have so much respect for everybody that sends it in the pipe. It is probably one of the gnarliest events by far. Anyways, we're here to talk about one thing and one thing only, that's Ski Knuckle Huck. If you guys have been reading the forums on new schools and everything else, you might have seen an article that looks something like this. Basically, the gist of the article is that Jesper Tejader kind of got robbed at Ski Knuckle Huck. I've seen a video out on this already. Steep Steep did a reaction to X Ski Knuckle Huck as well. I'm not the new Steep Steep guys. I am, uh, I would like to say, a more educated slash handsomer version of Steep Steep. Basically, what happened is Henrik Harlow once again won X Games Aspen Ski Knuckle Huck. By no means do I have anything against Henrik or anything against any of the riders here. I think everybody's sick. Henrik is like probably one of my biggest inspirations along the way. Jesper Tejader, on the other hand, too huge huge name and like this article said man he almost doesn't get enough respect for what he's done in the ski industry he just does the gnarliest tricks i don't know ideally i think of knuckle Hawk, i think of like nose presses and stuff which henrik definitely did do in this one although i found a lot of his tricks repetitive as we'll go into and jesper tejader this this x games this knuckle Hawk, he just got after it he did some gnarly gnarly stuff it's in it's incredible you guys will just have to watch and see i'll let you decide for yourself all right so it starts off ski knuckle Hawk starts off with fabian bosch absolute animal he just he just launches like what <laughs> Torque 12 off the knuckle quinn wolferman here on his first lap you know skirting around the skirting around the hip coming in comes in with a nice little nolly three to kind of a cork five out was super sick super steezy ferdy always gets a job done no matter what nose press into a seven Woo! Damn, baby. If you guys have already seen Ice Game Ski Knuckle Luck, you'll know what's coming in this one. But if you haven't, stay tuned. It's gnarly. All right, so Jesper Trujader's first run. If you guys don't follow him on social media, you should really check out some of the stuff he's done in the past. It's insane. All right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Okay, so I don't know if you guys understand what just happened there, but it was kind of a dub under flip. But right here in slow-mo, you'll see, since there's a second knuckle to the lip, but watch this right here. Just cruises over both, switch dub under flip, and just goes right to the tranny. Look, oh, I paused it there. Perfect. Zoom in. Oh my God, dude. That, that's where he landed. That is like this far from landing like completely flat. I, I don't know how he doesn't have any ankles left. Look at right here, right? Right when he comes around here, he comes around and stomps. Look at his, the impact on his knee. It goes in a bit. Just, oh, that can't be pleasant. That absolutely cannot be pleasant. I guess that's just some of the risk reward you get for going to the absolute sewer where you belong, Jasper. That was beautiful. Didn't land it, obviously. So I don't know if that's going to count. And then coming in here is Henrik's first run. Comes in, typical Henrik fashion. Nose butter five into uh, switch five. Switch five is a little sketchy in that run. The only thing I criticize Henrik on in this knuckle hawk is he spun in and out of every one, which is like not a bad thing. It's just a lot of spinning in and out. A lot of the tricks look pretty similar, if that makes sense. But uh, all sick tricks, like super sick tricks to begin with. Big Daddy A Hall coming in hot. Let's see what he's got. Backslide into hand drag cork five. That was super dope. That was really sick. All right, so Kobe Stevenson coming in. He won X Games Knuckle Hawk last year at Aspen. He deservedly won it last year. He absolutely killed it. It was sick. I, I loved it. And uh, I'm excited to see what he does this year. Does a uh, five in nose butter seven out. Okay, nose press seven out. So kind of like a uh, five to seven would be a 12 off the knuckle. And he just comes in and look, you can see right here, he fully catches the knuckle with his tips and presses, not as much press as he probably would have liked. I think he likes to go off axis on that switch seven. Super sick. Comes in, wraps it around, nice and clean. Stomps in the bottom, going deep. These guys, like everybody in this knuckle luck is landing at the basement. Like they're landing past the last line. I don't think the landing's as long as the typical uh, big air knuckle luck they have usually, 
because that's on a separate jump. And there we go, Fabian Bosch. Front flipping everything. One thing about Fabian is that dude loves to flip. Got a very gymnastics -y style, but does some gnarly, gnarly stuff. <laughs> like that. That was, uh, that was insane. I think that was a cork 14. I got to watch that again. One, two, three. <laughs> no way. That's a hand drag cork 14, lads. I don't think that's ever been done. I've never seen it been done. That's pretty loose. That's very loose. And loose in a good way. That was beautiful. Ferdy's also been lacing tricks here. Switch three to switch one. Oh, to the side, baby. Ow. I rolled over his ski too. It looked like that does not, that's not fun. There's nothing fun about that. All right, here we go. Jesper Tejader is, this is his second run. And there you go. He lands it. He stomps it clean. That was insane. And dude, like what the hell? Look how close his head is. He's like under flipping over the knuckle, like this far away from it, staring at it. Staring at it, just misses his tails. His tails are like this far away. Comes in into like a switch front flip almost. Right out to the bottom, spotting his landing. And dude, there's no lines. This is the bottom. He went as big as he did last time. He just rode out. Like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing the mic in now. Jesper Tejader might not have done the nose butters and stuff that Henrik did. But dude, he like, in terms of gnarly tricks, like... 25 times more than what Henrik has done in this in this X Games. Like, just talking about Ski Knuckle Huck right now. Jesper Tejader is just known for gnarly stuff. Henrik's second run. Switch three to Nose Butter three. Uh, super sick, super clean. Pressing off both ones. Looks sick, super steezy, as Henrik always does. C you can't complain about that. It's, it's, very, it's really nice. If you're X Games watcher like myself and like all the other people out there that don't really know about pressing Nose Butters and stuff, they want to see gnarly stuff. And I feel like Ski Knuckle Huck is kind of one of those places you just let loose and see what happens. Here, uh, here comes A-Hall coming in. Five, seven tail tap. Oh, I uh, kind of missed the knuckle though. So I don't think that really counts as a knuckle hook, but you know, it was super sick though. I'd like to see him get that. So he ju yeah, just missed and then wraps around for a seven. Would have been super sick. All right, Fabian Bosch, of course, hits a side hit, under flip. You know, you love to see it. He loves to lace as many flips as he can and run and he's doing it. This is super sick. A switch front flip in the pipe. I like that. Not even an actual pipe. It's a shark fin, which is cool as well. And then into, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, you love to see it. Uh, dub front flip, dub front flip is get the people going. Everybody loves a dub front flip. They're a crowd pleaser, off the knuckles, super sick. That's pretty gnarly, actually. No spotter five into a switch three. Oh, that one was hot. That was a hot track. <laughs> Let's watch this in slow-mo. No spotter five, sorry, into a switch. No spotter three, hand drag. All right, Jesper Tejader, third lap. What's he got for us? Cruising the shark fin, coming in. 360 into a court 10. Oh, ho, ho. woo. See, that's, I think, one of the things Fabian might have been missing is he just did um, a singular hand drag, cork 12. I guess he did a hand drag cork 14, which is... <laughs> oh, my God, hand drag cork 14. But Jesper did a 360 into his hand drag cork 10, which was added a little more uh, flavor to it, I believe. Henry coming in, switch one into uh, switch tail butter seven. Super stylish, super sick. Switch tail butter, proper tail butter, actually buttering off into uh, seven and stomping it. Dude, Henry's style is pretty unparalleled. A hall, what do we got? A hall. Tail tap late three. Oh, baby. Woo. You don't see that every day. I'm fully convinced that A hall is like. Either a cat or he stretches like 25 hours a day. I, I genuinely don't get it. All right, Kobe Steves. Rodeo 5, 180 to 7 on the jump, hitting the course. Trying to hand drag 3, absolutely going way too big, dude. That is the most terrifying thing. When you do hand drag 3 like this and you miss a knuckle and you can't grab the knuckle to pull yourself back around to your feet that is the most terrifying thing he's definitely right here he's like oh shit <laughs> way too deep manages to like hold his rotation and twist it out if he went any bigger he was going to the training and probably uh probably taking the spill so that was sick all right kwan body slide five muy caliente 
Oh, that's so sick. I don't know what you call that. I guess you call it a whale slide, body slide. I think whale slide sounds cooler. Maybe like a wet seal or something. I don't know. Gotta get creative with it. All right, Jossie coming in. Switch. Switch zero spin to the basement. Super stylish, super clean. Gotta love it. All right, Jesper. Front flip off the jump. Switch one. Oh, what? Wow, I just opened new tabs. I clapped so hard there. That was insane. Okay, I gotta go back. We're going back real quick. When it breaks it down here in slow-mo, let's look at this. He does a 180 off the shark fin, catches the knuckle, and then hops and does a switch back full, which is insane. So for people that don't know what back full is, it's like a kind of a really flippy cork seven or a gymnastics-y back flip 360. But to do that switch, let alone switch off a knuckle is super gnarly, like super, super gnarly. <laughs> then Henrik comes in here, nose butter, five into a switch three. Ooh, super stylish again. Uh, I think he did that trick earlier with a seven by accident. I'm not, don't quote me on that. Nose butter properly into the five, catches, nose butter, switch nose butter three, super sick. Super, super sick. Comes into the jump. <laughs> wow, that is insane. Front flip to Branny or front flip to front flip 180 right here. Look, one front flip, comes around for the second front flip, comes out, front flip 180 to the basement. All right, Jasper. This is Jasper's last rod, and this one is going to blow your spears away. Your spears are going to be pushed through the roof. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank the audio and let Tom Walsh go for it. What? So when I watched this, I was like, holy shit, that was insane. But also, dude, the fact right here that Tom Walsh pointed out, the Walsh man himself, check this out. Clips the knuckle right there, taps his ski, and then somehow has the freaking audacity to grab his knees and reef into another backflip. Wow. Dude, like, so insane. Straight to the bottom, switch backflip. Pretty sick. I don't think he was planning on touching the knuckle here. Either way, it doesn't matter. It was insane. Comes around, one ski, catches the knuckle. Somehow still, look, he's like literally this high off the knuckle now. Is going fast enough to rip into another switch backflip all the way to the bottom. That, that is one of the gnarliest tricks you'll have ever seen. Especially off a knuckle. Like, that's insane. It's unheard of. The amount of risk involved in what he just did there is just off the charts. All right, here comes Henrik. Last one. Switch three, woo, super stylish with the seven, super clean. One thing to point out, Henrik didn't fall once in this uh, in this contest, although Jesper fell once at the very beginning because he went like absolutely to the tranny and almost blew up. Uh, he, other than that, he didn't fall either. So something to keep in mind, I guess. I don't know if they're, it is, uh, it is based off overall impression. So so in X Games, not collect, there's no like scored events or anything. Nothing scored. Nobody knows who's winning till literally right now. So... Henrik takes knockcock again. Woo! Super sick. I'm stoked for Henrik. Those knuckles look like... I want I want a pair of those knuckles. They look really cool. One thing I don't know... I don't know about this. Because they said technically with this, he beats Tanner Hall for the most X Games gold medals. I personally... Obviously, knockcock is an X Games event. I don't see it as a tri an X Games gold. Like, in true fashion. Just because... It kind of seems like one of those events where it's not... Like, everybody's not giving it 100%. Especially in snowboarding this year. There's a lot of people goofing around. I absolutely love to see that, but it just doesn't seem as like serious or competitive, which is exactly what they're going for. But I just don't know if I would count it on the same level as like a half pipe, big air or slope metal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, check this out right here. Henrik goes up to uh, Jesper Tejeda right here. I think gives him like congrats on everything he did because he launched some gnarly stuff. Woo, all right. Quick change of clothes, lads. Came straight from physio, camera died, and you know, I had things to do, so I'm back. But uh, quickly before we leave this video, I want to know what you guys thought on kind of the Jesper versus versus Henrik situation at this X Games. I mean, not throwing shade on anybody or anything like that. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm kind of just here to recap uh, an awesome X Games and create content for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave it down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of these videos in the future. I love breaking things down like this. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. And uh, with that, the kid is out. Deuces.